Hey guys, and welcome to another episode of the Illinois Workers Project. I am your host, Dave Luna. Today is June 12, 2020. I'm here on top of my roof with my friend, Omar Cholo Hernandez. I wanted to give a quick review on the Invisalign gutter guard sold at Home Depot. You get 25 in a carton. They're being sold retail for $69.97, which is a little bit high. So I kind of just wanted to let you guys know what you're gonna buy and what you'll receive in return. I definitely do feel that it's been worth it. We put them in last week. We're up here, we're finishing. Highest part of my roof, but we have had two pretty strong rains since then and it's held up pretty well. I'm gonna give you guys a, a, a tour of what we've been able to accomplish so far. Just wanna be able to show you guys that they are, and they have been cleaned in the last two rains. Yeah, this is looking great. Keep your gutters clean. We're gonna come up here and finish this top part today. See how that goes for us. So I did want to show you guys what you'll be receiving in a box. This is it. It's kind of weird that, and I checked this with different Home Depots, that the brand is actually a Merrimax. It is the same item number online as it is on, on the box. So these are, I guess, considered the Merrimax Invisalign. I'm not sure if it's a different company or the same company, but these are it. These are the lock-in gutter guards. I did want to bring up that I am putting these on older gutters. It's like an older gutter system. I didn't want to replace it. I feel like they're, they're still good. They're aluminum, sturdy enough. I'm going to power wash them and clean them. My friend Omar helped me clean them. And yeah, they look pretty good, you know. So these are kind of the things that you'll be needing pliers, measuring tape, a small screwdriver that you can fit through the slots as you're putting them in to slide this back and forth. A drill with a quarter inch driver, number eight, three quarter inch hex head slotted uh, sheet metal screws that I'm using, and some nice cutters, gloves. These are supposed to lock in. They're literally just supposed to lock in. But one thing that I notice is that they still kind of move around. They still move around, they're pretty simple to put in. You see, I'm almost able to do it with one hand. You kind of just pop it right in. But as you can see, with these older gutters, they don't stay in place as well, so that's why we're gonna screw them down. So it's an optional thing? Yeah, it's one thing to keep in mind, guys. Once you get into a rhythm of knowing where to place the gutter guard in between the last gutter guard you placed in and the shingle, everything goes by pretty smoothly. At 280 a pop, I would highly recommend this product. It's very easy to install. And shout out to my boy Jaden right there. So y'all can see David put these on already. I'm coming in here, screwing them in. This is optional. You don't really have to, but if you have loose gutters, for example, right here, if you come in, Get your, get your little screws, the one that David showed you he got. Put them towards the edge, right there where they're connected. Take your time doing it. Put it on right there. Put another one, because you can see you can put your fingers out here, so I put it on both. You see, flattens it out. Then for here, this gut is a little loose. So what I'll do, I'll flat this over, try to get try to get the screw like right there. If you want to, you can do it from up here, you can do it down here. I've been doing up through up here, but this one I can do it through down here. Probably be a little better. With my knee, I'm pushing up the gutter right here. Once it gets it, it's nice in there. So one thing I also forgot to mention was that you're probably gonna need some knee pads. I was able to pick these up. They were like $6 each at Home Depot. They work really good because you're probably gonna be on your knees for a while, you know? And just for reference, this is how easy, hold this real quick for me. This is just how easy this stuff cuts, you know? Pretty simple. 
you also need some sort of wasp and bee killer that is one thing that was pretty consistent about this experience is that everywhere i looked there were some bees trying to get in between the shingles and the gutters so i went to home depot i bought two of these bottles i ended up going through one of them and still had the second bottle left over but just having them made working up there a whole lot easier i feel a lot more comfortable and definitely worth the investment I did want to mention that this is not a paid sponsorship. I'm doing this all on my own. So make sure to give me a thumbs up, comment down below. Let me know what you think. And thank you once again for tuning in. This is David Luna with the Illinois Workers Project.